Hey, Miranda, I just wanted to confirm with you that I was going to have Pauline this weekend. I was going to come over around 10 in the morning on Saturday to come and pick her up. So you're going to pick her up on Saturday morning and drop her off on Sunday night then? That was the plan, yeah. I was thinking that we could go to Legoland for the day and stay in a hotel around there for the night. Wow. I'm really surprised that you've been able to stick to doing this once a month. I mean, isn't it a six-hour drive for you? Do you really want to see your own daughter that much? Well, of course I do. There isn't anyone in the world who means as much to me as Pauline does. And since I only get to see her once a month, I always want to make sure that we're doing something fun together. I see. Right. Your life must be really sad the rest of the month in that case, huh? I mean, have you done anything really fun for yourself ever since we got a divorce? You know that you can go out and date other women and do stuff like that, right? I know that I can, but it just doesn't really interest me at all. I mean, if you're in the mood to be making suggestions, I wouldn't mind taking custody of Pauline for a while. Yeah, no, that is not going to happen. Pauline is just fine where she is right now, thank you very much. I finally feel like I have a good balance between my work and personal life, and I don't need you interfering. Alright then, maybe don't go around making snide comments around what I should or shouldn't do with my life, okay? <laughs> Wait a second. Don't tell me that you're jealous just because I'm actually enjoying my life since we got divorced. That's literally not what I said at all. By the way, I read some of those articles that you wrote and put online. Oh, are you talking about my mommy blog? Yeah, well, things have been pretty busy for me ever since I became a single mother. But thanks to that blog, I'm able to make a little money for myself and let everyone know just how hard it is to be me. Of course, I give plenty of tips for other single parents as well. Hmm, I see. Well, I wonder how your readership would feel if they knew the real reason why you were divorced. I mean, you read so much about how hard your work is and how difficult your life is. But I haven't seen a single word about how you cheated and that's why you're a single mother. Are you really going to try and open up that can of worms with me right now, Frank? You better not be thinking of leaving a comment with any nonsense like that written in it. Of course not. I would never do that as long as you have Pauline. But I just think that maybe you would do good to remember why it is that you're in this position. I do not need to take this from a man who wasn't even good enough to hold my attention. And it's not like you can even say what I was doing was really cheating. I was just out having... I was just out having a little fun and you totally blew things out of proportion. I'm sorry, but if you have sexual relationships with someone outside your marriage and your partner isn't consenting to that, then that is cheating. Yeah, 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 you're so wise about how relationships work. But men do that kind of stuff to women all of the time and never get in trouble. So I think that you need to check yourself the next time you want to say something as sexist as that. I mean, just what is wrong with talking to people on a dating app, huh? I really am so happy that we're divorced. Do you know that? Now I can finally live the life I want without ever having to worry about you. Let's not pretend like everything happened in that app. And besides, you were the one who first sent that message to the guy in the first place on the app. Okay, 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 we don't need to rehash this whole situation. We're already divorced now, so can we please just drop it already? I really don't care enough to keep talking about this. Fine, I'm sorry. I know that we agreed to stop bringing that up so much. But anyways, I guess I'll see you this weekend. Please just tell Pauline to have her bag packed and ready with overnight stuff, okay? And you still haven't forgotten our rules for you getting to see her? You mean that if I don't have her back home on time, then I won't get to see her next month? That's right, and don't you ever forget it. And just know that I have a tracking app on Pauline's phone, so I always know where she is. I don't want to see you taking her back to your house at all. Straight to the amusement park, and then straight back here. Got it? Now I understand, Miranda. You have my word, and I'll do just that. And I also want to say that I do appreciate you raising Pauline and taking care of her since the divorce. 
Well, I'm just glad you remember who's really doing the hard work around here. Now you better not let a single thing happen to my precious little girl. Miranda, do you have a second to chat real quick? What do you want now, Frank? Uh, well, I was wondering if we could just talk about Pauline for a bit. You just had her last weekend. What could you possibly want now? Don't tell me that you're wanting to get a second weekend with her so soon. No, it isn't quite that. I wanted to talk to you about something else, actually. What is it? Just spit it out already because I'm not going to guess. Well, I noticed last weekend when I had her, she was crying over the meal that I served her. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, she was like really, really bawling over this food. And she said it was the first hot meal she had had in a long time. I have no idea what you're trying to get at right now. Well, that's the thing. I also don't quite understand it. I asked Pauline what she meant by that, and she said that she had hardly ever had anything to eat that was cooked fresh at home. Well, she knows that's not my fault. I am way too busy working to have any time at all to be cooking for her. So then, you guys aren't even eating together at the house? Are you trying to accuse me of starving our daughter right now? You know that I would never, ever do that. I am taking perfectly fine care of her. No, that isn't what I'm saying at all, actually. I asked Pauline, and she said that she gets plenty to eat. Well, then what's the big idea of you coming to me with this, huh? You think that I'm not always trying to do my best to make sure that she has what she needs to grow up big and strong? I feed her healthy food with lots of nutrients and never neglect her duties as her mother. That girl has got some nerve crying over whatever cheap microwave meal you served her, calling it your own cooking. I really don't think that you should put any of the blame on this on Pauline. I just mean that maybe she missed my cooking and that's why she was crying? Is that what you're trying to do now, Frank? Are you just texting me to brag about how much of a better cook you are? You think that just because you know some fancy tricks in the kitchen that this makes you better than me? I work so hard to make sure that we have something to eat every single day. I really am pissed that you would even say that to me, Frank! Miranda, I'm sorry. That really wasn't what I was trying to say at all. I just, well, Pauline was crying and I just thought that maybe we could talk about it as her parents. And just what are you trying to get at this time, huh? I get that we're divorced and we don't live together anymore, but we both care about Pauline and want her to grow up both physically and mentally healthy. And it just kind of seems to me that Pauline might be a really lonely child. I know that I do everything I can to be there for her when I have her, but I wonder if maybe you couldn't spend a little more time with her as well? I just think that it would go a long way in cheering her up is all. I think that Pauline is just over-exaggerating and is happy to have a different environment than my home to be in. But I know for a fact that I raised that girl just fine. Uh, well, I think that Pauline might be feeling differently about that. And just what do you know about her, huh? You see her one weekend a month and you think you're an expert. I live with her! Besides, she's a big girl and needs to learn how to start taking care of herself! Miranda, our daughter is only three years old. And in six months, she'll be four. I, I don't really want to get into this fight right now. All I'm asking you is to spend a little more time in your schedule with Pauline. I know that you're really busy with work and life and all, so if you want, I could take Pauline off your hands more often. No, no, no. That, that is just not going to work for me at all. I know how to handle my schedule and you... You coming around more is just going to ruin things. But what about Pauline? I really do feel like she's feeling lonely. I mean, she was literally crying. You mean that she was crying the whole time? The entire weekend? Well, no, but what child would cry for two days straight? That's what I thought. So why don't you settle down and quit blowing things out of proportion? You don't need to be in control of every little emotion that she gets through. I'm a working mom who knows how to raise my child, 
And if you don't think I'm not doing every single thing I can for her, then I don't want to talk to you. I really am not trying to lecture or tell you how to live your life. But I just also worry about Pauline, and I just want to be there for her if she needs me. I mean, I think that we should both want what's best for her, right? Alright, that's it. I've asked you to stop. I've asked you to stop over and over again, and you're not listening. You are not going to be seeing our daughter next month. Wait, what? Come on, Miranda, that's just not fair. You should have thought about that before before you went running your mouth at me. I am going to talk to Pauline about this, and that will be that. This is what you get for trying to teach me how to go about raising my own daughter. Miranda, please, don't be like this. I mean, I've been seeing her once a month ever since we got divorced. And now you're going to have to wait an extra month because you don't know when to shut up! Don't forget that I do have custody of her. Although... If you really want to see her that badly, you might be able to change my mind with a small donation. I might be convinced to change my mind if you do help to support a poor single mother. Pauline, are you already asleep? I want you to get back to me as soon as you see these messages, okay? And you have to keep this a secret from your mom. Dad, what are you doing texting me so late? What kind of secret do I have to keep from Mom? Oh, Pauline, are you still awake at this time? Well, I was just kind of about to go sleep. I was still on the couch watching TV, and then I saw my phone light up with your message. Did you try calling me or something? What's this you want to talk about, Dad? Pauline, I need you to get out of the house right away. I want you to go and pack your bag with just essentials, okay? What do you mean? What's, what's going on? It's okay, Pauline. I know all about what's been going on. And I just want to say that I'm so sorry that I've never noticed before. Dad, are you sure about this? Pauline, can you tell me if Mommy's in the house with you right now? Why do you ask? What's going on? Pauline, please, there's nothing to be scared of. I know what's been going on there. And I finally realized what you were trying to tell me the last time that we were together. So you mean that I don't have to lie to you anymore, Daddy? That's right, there's no use in that anymore. And again, I'm so sorry that I wasn't there for you before. But from now on, you're gonna come and live with me, okay? But Mom is really scary. Anytime I tell her that I want to go and live with you, she gets really, really mad at me. Mommy says that if I go in love with you, that you'll get bored of me and throw me out on the street. Pauline, you don't have to listen to a single word that your mom says to you. I know that your mom is never home and that she never ever cooks for you, right? That's bad, sweetie. Your mom shouldn't be treating you like that. I know that this is going to be hard for a while, but things are going to be better for you if you're here with me. You mean it, Daddy? That you're really going to live with you? That's right, and I'm never ever going to leave you ever again. There might be some days when I come home from work late, but I'm never going to leave you alone all night. And I'll make sure to cook for you every single day. You don't have to listen to your mom's lies anymore. You've been so strong, and I'm very proud of you. Daddy, thank you so much. I've wanted to live with you for so long. I know that I should have realized that a long time ago. But we're going to make things right right now, okay? I'm parked downstairs in the parking lot right now. Be a good girl, pack your bags, and come outside, okay? I would come inside and help, but then I think that you could get into some big trouble. So you have to do this by yourself. Okay, Daddy, I'll pack my bags and then, and then I'll go outside. Miranda, you and I have got to have a little chat. <sighs> what do you want, you jerk? I am busy right now. If this is about seeing Pauline, then the answer is no. I already told you that you wouldn't be seeing her next month. Now, you are going to drop this now, or you won't see her for the month after that, too. I'm not worried about asking you to see Pauline ever again. And just what is that supposed to mean? Did you finally find a girlfriend or something? Honestly, you men are all the same. You find another girl in your life, and you kick us all to the curb. 
but you are going to pay child support, know that. I'm not going to be paying a single cent, actually. You really have some nerve texting me just to say all of this, you know that? Well, the reason I'm not going to pay you is because you don't need the money. Excuse me? You have no idea how hard it is being a single mother. Do you really think that I don't need the child support? Do you really care so little about your own daughter? You're not even good enough to be her father. I am going to write all about you in my blog, you jerk. And then everyone is going to know about how you hate your daughter and refuse to pay child support. You are going to be ruined. I think that you're misunderstanding what's going on right now. I mean that I'm not going to pay you because I'm taking care of Pauline right now. What on earth are you talking about, you crazy person? I take that you still haven't gotten home then, right? I have no idea what you mean by that. Well then, I'm here to tell you that Pauline and I are both together right now. I picked her up at your place last night. You did what? What is the matter with you? Don't you realize what you've done? I am going to call the police and you are going to be thrown in jail. Oh, you're more than welcome to call the police, Miranda. But know that I'm going to fight you every step of the way. Fight me? On what grounds, Frank? How about the fact that you aren't doing anything to raise our daughter at all? I know that you're working, but you're also just letting strange men come in and out of your place. I've been looking into all of what you've been doing this whole week. You mean you've been spying on me? I knew that there was something up the day that Pauline was crying in front of me. But now I realize that you're barely spending any time at home and that you've just been giving Pauline bags of chips for dinner. The only thing you ever do for her is wash her when she starts to stink so nobody asks too many questions. But now I know that you haven't been any kind of mother to her at all. I hear that she hardly even shows up to her preschool. Wait, 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 wait. no, you don't get it. She's just been sick and hasn't been able to have big meals or go to school. Don't even bother, I already heard it all from Pauline herself. Why even bother lying anymore? I'm gonna take custody of Pauline. I've already called the CPS and cleared her with them. So go ahead and call the cops, see what happens. I don't believe you. You really think that you can get custody from me? You've barely even been home since we got divorced. Do you really care so little about your own daughter? How dare you go on and on to me about how much you do when it's been nothing? Wait, 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 no, please, you can't take my daughter away from me. You abused having custody over her and used it to make her obey you. Well, no, it's not going to work. Please, she can live with you and you can raise her, but I, I need to have custody. And just what would have even been the point of having custody of her then? If you don't even care if she lives with you, then why even bother keeping it, huh? Because what kind of mother doesn't have custody over their own child? It's unheard of! Are you kidding me? Is that it? Yeah, I mean, just look around. Women always get custody of the kids. How do you think it's going to make me look if I don't? So, that's what this is all about, huh? You're just concerned about how you look in all this. Please, my job was just getting on track and everyone knows me online for being a single mom. What are people going to say when they find out I don't even have custody of my child? This is just stupid. I really can't believe you. You're not even going to be a good parent to her. You were just using your daughter as a tool for your own self-image. Well, not anymore. After that, CPS called Miranda to let her know that she was being stripped of her custody of Pauline, and that it was being transferred to me. It was only a few weeks later that a keen observer on Miranda's website picked up that she wasn't a single mother anymore and she didn't even have custody of her child. When that happened, the website traffic plummeted, and she lost the one thing that had kept her ego alive since our divorce. I hear that even her parents found out that she lost Pauline. And when they asked why, she cracked and told them the truth, which only made them more upset. As for Pauline and I, I took her to a nutritionist and were on a diet to help rebuild her strength. 
We both had to make big adjustments since she moved in with me, but more than anything, I'm just glad that my daughter's in a safe environment and away from Miranda. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. Hey, are you holed up in your room again? Mom is upset because she says all you do is stay in your room and you won't even eat dinner with her. What are you talking about? Mom doesn't even make enough food for me and gets mad when I use the kitchen. So I have no choice but to get takeout all the time. It would be weird if we ate together. Wait, did you come home? Yeah, I figured I should drop by sometimes and it's a long weekend. <laughs> what do you mean sometimes? You were just here two weeks ago. Why do you care how often I come by? Well, yeah, but... Now I'm just chilling in my room. You're messaging me from the next room? I don't want to get up and go to your room. But anyways, it's all your fault. What are you talking about? Just listen. I went to a good college and got into a good company. Yeah, and? I'm one of the best employees there, and my bosses love me. Okay, that's good. But you... Me? You only graduated from vocational school. So, what does it matter? I found what I wanted to do. And went to school so I could get good at it. That's not the problem. Huh? Now you don't even work. What? All you do is stay in your room all day and leech off of mom and dad. Just hurry up and get a job already. What I mean is, you need to get out of this house. Graduating from vocational school doesn't mean anything if you can't contribute to society. Wait, I told you before, right? I work from home. You're a freelancer or whatever, right? So you do know. But the world isn't that easy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not like me. I mean, I'm amazing at everything I do. But Hannah, you don't achieve anything you set out to do. You're not going to make it doing freelance. <laughs> well, I know that it's not something everyone can succeed at doing, but... I'm getting enough work as I am right now. That's why I went to vocational school. So I can hone my skills. Wait. You decided to go to vocational school so you could become a deadbeat? You're so funny! <laughs> okay, so you say you're a genius, but you're not making any sense. What? I mean... You don't even know what kind of school I went to, do you? My brain doesn't need any additional unnecessary information. <laughs> you don't think we're in the same playing field, do you? <laughs> hmm, unnecessary, huh? I wonder what part of it is unnecessary. Whatever. You can only stay high and mighty for now. For now? You'll get it soon. <laughs>「I have to talk to you. What? You need to get out of this house by the end of the week. What? Um, are you saying that I need to move out? Yeah. Why so suddenly? Sean decided to move back in, so I need your room to be empty. Huh? What are you talking about? Even if Sean comes back, he has his own room. Why do you need my room? Do you know what teleworking is? Of course. Sean's company has started teleworking, so he's thinking of moving back here, but he wants to have his room and his workspace to be separate, so he needs a workroom. Okay, so you're saying I need to leave. Yes. I think this is a good opportunity for you, too. Why? Do I have to spell it out for you? All you do is stay in your room all day on your computer. I told you I'm working. Sean told me. You only work part-time, right? No, I work freelance. It's all the same. It's not like you're even making much money anyway. Actually, I am. Don't you remember? I've shown you how much I have saved. Sean says you can create fake information online. So you're saying you're believing what Sean says, rather than what you saw yourself? Well, of course, he's successful. He has actual work experience. I can trust him a lot more than you. 
What are you talking about? Anyways, you need to be out by the end of this week. Sean's telecommuting starts next week, so I have to get a workspace ready for him. Fine, but I'm gonna check one more time. You're really okay with me moving out? That's what I said. You're not allowed to come back until you have a proper job. Understand? Hey, Hannah. Have you moved out yet? Yeah. The moving truck with all my stuff in it has already left. I'm on the train, heading to my new place now. Sounds good. So starting tomorrow, your room is now my room. Next time you come home, you can stay on the couch or something. <laughs> By the way, your stuff came today. Yeah, I had it scheduled to be delivered today. That's fine, but you keep saying you'll be telecommuting, but there wasn't a computer. What? <laughs> Normally, if you ship computers, they'll be in special boxes labeled fragile or whatever. But the only box labeled fragile had a TV in it. Are you sending it separately or something? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's already a computer at the house. I don't have to bring a separate one. Was there? Oh, I'm almost there. Already? I was killing time in a cafe nearby. Bye! Hannah! What is this? Why is everything gone? What? There's nothing left in your room! What did you do with all this stuff? What do you mean, what did I do? I told you I packed it all up to move to my new place. What? Why did you take everything with you? It's my stuff. Of course I'm going to take it with me. You should only take the stuff you bought with your own money, especially the computer. I'm going to use it. What are you talking about? I bought everything in my room with my own money. The computer, too. Of course I'm going to take it with me. You're a liar! A freeloader like you doesn't have the money to buy a computer that expensive? I told you, I'm not a freeloader. There's no way you can do freelance work. You're too stupid. No way you can buy a computer by yourself. I told you, I'm making about as much money as someone my age working at an office. Liar! If you don't believe me, just ask Mia. Mia? Remember? Mia works at the company store. When I got my computer for work, they didn't have anything advanced enough in the store. So I asked Mia to order me this one. She saw me buy it with my own credit card. She'll tell you that it's mine through and through. I mean, I saved up the money for the computer at my part-time job that I was working at while I was going to school because I wanted to save for my future. So it doesn't matter how much I make now. <laughs> Whatever, just bring back the computer. I need to use it. No, I need it for my work. If you're really making that much money, just buy a new one. Bring it back. Just hold on. You want to use a computer for telework, right? I believe your company will pay for a computer so you can work from home if you need one. No, well... Whatever. Anyways, make sure to tell mom that you're fired, okay? What? What are you talking about? I know that your company actually started teleworking six months ago. And that you're an okay employee, so you were selected as a member of the first team to start teleworking. But when you actually started working from home, we found out that you don't do any actual work, right? And you couldn't pay rent anymore while you were looking for a new job. So, you moved back home. How do you know all of that? My friend works at that company. What? Who? Can we stop talking about this? I get nauseous texting on the train. I don't feel so good, so see ya! Hey, wait! Bye! Hannah! I need you to answer the phone! What? Your father's brother just called me. He said that I owe him three months back rent and I need to pay him ASAP. What is he talking about? Sean says he has no idea what he's talking about. Hannah, do you know what's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Mom, 
Are you not paying the rent? Of course! Why do I have to pay rent for a house that I own? Huh? What do you mean? The house is a rental. What? That house used to be owned by Dad's great-uncle, so they've been renting it to us really cheap. But when you and Dad got divorced four years ago, you said you would not leave the house, so... They said they would let you keep living there if you paid the normal rent price. What? Wait. So that means that until three months ago, the rent was being paid? There's no way your father would pay it, and Sean just started working last year. Where did that money come from? Of course it came from me. What? You only work three, four days a week part-time, and I'm the only one who can pay it. And I told you when I moved out, that I would tell Great Uncle that I was moving out, so to figure out how you would be paying the rent. Wait just a second. You were making that much? I told you I was so many times. I told you that I'm freelance graphic designer. What? I, I never heard that. I told you. You didn't believe me. Or is that you just don't listen to other people? That's the main reason you got divorced, right? And when Dad tried to talk to you about what to do about the house, you wouldn't listen to him. He kept saying that you wouldn't divorce him unless you got to keep the house. All you did was whine like a little kid. And in the end, I had to figure things out with Dad and Great Uncle. Was that what happened? I've wanted to move out for a long time. But if I did that, you wouldn't be able to pay the rent. And Sean was still in school, so I had no choice but to live at home. I see. Okay, then... I need you to pay back the rent I owe and give me the money for rent from here on out. What? Why do I need to pay the rent for a place I don't even live at? Um, but... You and Sean are the ones who told me to get out. That's... I think it's reasonable that the two people living should pay for the rent, right? Um, uh... Where are you living now? I'm not telling you. I don't want you coming here. Bye. When I was told to move out, I asked my dad, who lives in a different city, for advice. I cried when he told me I'd done a good job. Currently, I live alone in the same city as my dad. It seems that Mom contacted Dad to try and get back together with him. But he brushed her off and asked about her current living situation. Sean and my mom couldn't pay the rent. So they were kicked out and are currently living in a tiny one-bedroom apartment together. Sean has apparently turned into a freeloader who keeps saying, I'm a brilliant freelancer. So my mom has started working more so she can support him. And they can't stop fighting and it's overall an awful situation. But I don't care. They are no longer part of my life. 